Thanks for stopping by guys and welcome back to Scram Kink. Now today we're going to be doing a bit of a miniature episode. This isn't really looking at a specific vehicle or a tutorial like I normally would, but rather just discussing a concept. I've done one video like this before and that was the survival piston engines video. Now today we're going to be looking at what I've been referring to as 20mm cannons. Um, these have taken on a few different names in my community. I usually refer to them as 20 millimeters, they're also known as rod cannons, and larger variants of this are also known as jam cannons. So essentially what they are is they're a really basic cannon that gives even the smallest vehicle some sort of offensive capability against armored vehicles. Now all it is is two spud guns, one logic, and a button. That is it. That is the most basic version of this gun you can make. And all you have to do is load it, put some cardboard, and put these little rods. This will fire. Now, what makes this special compared to just a normal spud gun is it has armor penetration qualities like any normal round would. The only difference is it doesn't have an AP quality, or correction, it doesn't have a high explosive quality like the canisters would. However, with a lot of the modern vehicles, explosive canisters are being more and more common with autoloaders and other such items. So all you have to do is aim for the cannon breach. So to give you an idea of what I mean, so this is the most basic version. This is a six shot version meant to be kind of its own separate turret. And this has a four shot variant in the wyvern chassis now this wyvern is known as a drake with the 20 millimeter added um, you can see it all right here all it is is two spud guns there is some logic which uh, should be somewhere around here up oh, there it is i forgot where i put it and it works just like the other one i just showed so fire 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 actually there's four rounds now, this isn't as powerful as the main cannon, there is a bit more bullet drop, but it does its job and it's really simple and really easy to reload, so all you gotta do is come down here, cardboard, drag, one, two, my mouse has stopped clicking. There we go. For some reason, I'm not sure why that was, one, two, three, four, there you go. And you're able to fire again. And you have your machine guns and you have your main cannon as well. Now, I don't really expect this to be a main weapon at all. I think all vehicles should have some sort of explosive based weapon that can shoot canisters or large canisters at the enemy. This is either just a last ditch effort or something to give really small vehicles like APCs and things like that a little bit more firepower for the room. So you could easily make a six shot like that is. This is a four shot in line, and they're really simple to make and add on to anything you want. And to give you an idea of what I mean, here is just a standard wyvern. There's no modifications to it. We're gonna park this and try and kill it with the 20 millimeter alone. Since this is a slightly less powerful gun, it won't penetrate as much armor. However, it's usually enough for most tanks, unless you're starting to get into something really big like the Surge. Let's go ahead and hop in. Let's reload our ammo. And let's take aim. We want to aim right at the breach, because we need to hit the little ammo storage behind the breach itself. And fire. That one hit, penetrated, and then bounced out. Fire. That went over. That one over as well. That one over as well. I think we're a bit too high, unfortunately. So let's back up so we can use bullet drop to our uh, to our advantage. I think I also went up on the surface. So let's actually just move a little bit. There we go. Let's aim ourselves up. And the breach should be located somewhere about there. You do need to know where the breach is so you can actually aim for it and fire. And there we go, that was a direct penetration hit and kill. So that was just the 20 millimeter, that was not the main gun. I do believe that the main canister firing cannons are going to be the main weapon for continued use in pretty much everything. And 
honestly, I'm not sure how well the 20 millimeter will work for most situations. However, it's just something I think could be really easy to add to give something just a little bit more firepower than it would have normally. More as a third firearm, where the main gun is the primary, the machine guns are the secondary, and the 20 millimeter is your last ditch effort to actually kill the enemy before they can kill you. And uh, yeah, this was just mostly a concept looking at this new gun type. Now there is a variant of this which has been referred to as a jam cannon. Rather than using small rounds like this to hit major components like the explosive rounds inside of an enemy tank, the jam cannon's purpose is to shoot a much larger rod to jam major components such as the turret and gun elevation. Honestly, some people have been working with it and it does seem promising, however, I'm not quite sure about its offensive capabilities, especially when it comes to its size. Some of the jam cannons do get rather large rather quickly, whereas this is really tiny and really easy to make. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you guys did, please leave a like. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. Enjoy the channel, enjoy what I'm doing. Please subscribe, it helps out a lot. And right now, shares help out the channel the most. So if you do want to help out the channel, please share this episode with a friend. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for sticking around. And until next time, peace.